Tropics. Bruce Edwards and Sybil Staples alongside Bruce in the studio, Sybil in Master Control. She's our technical director today. We're in September, actually past the quote average of, uh, of uh, peak of the tropical season, but uh, not a lot is going on this year out in the Atlantic. These are the areas that are typical for tropical storm formation in September and a lot of them have during this week, the 11th through the 20th, that week right before fall officially arrives, 103 storms in the last 110 years or so, and gosh, they've developed just about any place, but we don't have a lot of areas that are suspect right now. Have some areas uh, that we're watching because of showers and thunderstorms, but none that look like they're uh, we're in an imminent tropical storm formation uh, pattern. One area in Cuba across the Bahamas, showers and thunderstorms here, but the upper level winds are not conducive to development here right now. That can change any day, but uh, no tropical storm formation is likely there. Now, this is a rather impressive looking wave that's moving across the central Atlantic, about midway between the Lesser Antilles and Africa. That one uh, bears watching, a little bit of ridging to the north of it. But uh, right now, the upper level wind is still kind of shearing it, as you can kind of see on this satellite picture. So uh, it is not indicative or it is not thought that this will develop into a tropical storm in the near term either. The water vapor imagery shows some what looks like be maybe a little bit of light ridging to the north of it, high pressure building. That makes it a little more conducive to development. As it moves to the east, will it bears watching. But right now, no tropical storm formation is likely. Same scenario in the Western Caribbean, although we've had some showers developing here. We've got an old front that's draped across this area, and again, tropical storm formation, not likely. But it certainly means some showers and thunderstorms are going to affect the weather in Cuba and Hispaniola and the Bahamas. And this wave, uh, as it moves toward the Lesser Antilles, could bring some showers and storms to the islands, as this one is just to the east, but again, just showers and thunderstorms. Off Africa, no major wave uh, moving off the coast. This is the one that we just showed you out in the central Atlantic that does have perhaps some potential over time if the ridging continues to occur. But most of the action has been out in the Pacific. This is Nora. Nora, right now, a tropical storm, centered at 14.3 north and 102.7 west. It's about 455 miles south-southeast of Manzanillo, Mexico at 50 mile an hour winds, uh, nearly stationary, and its forecast to move to the northwest could become a pretty impressive hurricane in a very short period of time. Has all the ingredients for that, and hurricane watches have been issued for uh, Lazaro, Cardenas, northward to uh, Cabo Corrientes, and then to the south to Punta Maldonado, we have tropical storm warnings that are in effect. So whenever those are issued, it means right now, uh, it means that uh, actually what's happening right now is we have rain bands moving on shore, it's a pretty heavy rain, that means possibility of flooding and mudslides along the coast of Mexico. So that's the first threat. Linda is still pumping high-level moisture into Southern California, about 930 miles southwest of San Diego, winds at just 40 miles per hour right now. It's moving west at 5, uh, still a tropical storm, probably in the next 24 hours or the next 6 to 10 hours, maybe downgraded to a tropical depression, but still a moisture producer for the southwestern part of the country, that's for sure. Here we have David, David a typhoon, packing 90 mile an hour winds, heading to the northwest. Now, it looks as though it's going to make a turn well off the coast of Kyushu, or Honshu, which is the main island of Japan, before it gets there. That would be good news. Now you can save up to 40% on vitamins. Call Nutrition Warehouse and ask for our free catalog with over 3,000 items. There's vitamins, herbs dietary aids, bodybuilding supplements, and more. There's Twin Labs, Kyolic, Nature's Way, Melatonin, and DHEA at savings up to 40%. Save even more on our own products with the same guaranteed potency as popular brand names. Take advantage of Nutrition Warehouse's amazing low prices. Call for your free catalog anytime. 1-800-218-6565.